Hey everybody, my name is Jim Dreifel. I'm a hairdresser with IATSE 891. Um, the purpose of these videos is to try to demystify some of the things that we do. Uh, the biggest one that I know of is wigs and application. I'm just going to brush this back into a simple ponytail. This is not ideal. This is not the way you should be doing it. But sometimes you have to. So, simple pony. I would use this technique if it was background and I knew that they were going to be in the back and it was a wipe and a wash and we had very little time. Uh, you have to be careful though because that person could be upgraded or they might like their look and want them in front of the camera and that changes everything. Always get your talent to help you. Ask them to hold it this way. Most of the time they know they've had a wig on. I always ask if you've had a wig on before or not, so they get their thumbs in here and they help you pull this down. So I'm just going to be a little awkward here to get this over the face. Makeup first is not ideal. We want to try to get this wig wrap done, then send them to makeup. Sometimes timing doesn't work that way and you have to deal. So. It's always nice to get the wig wrap done first, if you can, if time allows. But you never know what's going to happen in the trailer. Anything can happen, something could be late, there could be a change, their call could be pushed, whatever. Who knows? Um, the only advice I really have is that if you don't know how to do this in a multiple of variety of ways, don't say that you have a history of wig application because you don't. And a key on the show that day does not have time to show you. Um, you will have a very unhappy team if you say you know what you're doing and you don't. So here we go, simple, simple. We make sure that the, the sizing, there's different kinds of wig caps too. It really depends what you're doing. And, you know, we can, we'll go through all that stuff. But So ideally their thumbs are underneath. I would never pull this up like this, ever, but sometimes you have to. That's why you get them to use their thumbs, just get past the ears. Uppy uppy, simple, there you go. Slightly pull this past. So you've got rid of all of that. Now if it's a lace front and this needs to be smooth, you're using glues or you're using gels or whatever to smooth this down before you even get to this point. So it's it's like a skull cap underneath and it's like smooth as glass. These are called toupee clips. Um, most of the time when you're doing wigs, the um, trailer is going to have all of this in stock for you. You shouldn't have to bring this stuff, but sometimes it doesn't hurt to have it in your kit, especially if you say that you have a mastery in wig application because they might not have everything. I personally like to limit my use of clips and pins if I can. It's all based on what, again, the action is, what they're doing, where they're going, what's happening in the story. So this is a super basic, simple, simple application. I'm using five toupee clips. The ones are a bit small, but it, they'll work for this purpose. Okay, so we're just going through this process of what a basic wig wrap is. This isn't even a wrap, this is just like, I got no time, I gotta get this on the head. So that's what we're doing. This is more for like background even, or um, you know, if you got no time, you're gonna find that some people want it done pro their way and they're gonna presume that that's the proper way because it's their way. There is absolutely a right way to do this. Generally, we don't have time, so it never hurts to check in with your key to sort of find out what their expectations are. 
Um, you're usually not doing, you're not usually showing up that day of and doing wigs. You usually have a relationship with that person and they know what your skill is and your capacity. That's not always the case, however, and we need to be ready for anything. So I'm just tucking in this hair, balance it out, head shape, form, structure, right? So we're just trying to get rid of it, tuck it away. If this person is a hair farmer, there's very different wig waves, wraps to do this. So just move it around. Don't be shy. Lumps and bumps. So if this is a stunt person, it doesn't, you know, it's a, something that's really helpful is that, you know, French braids can be put anywhere in the head and they can be cushions. This can be a cushion to a stunt person if they're actually not whapping their head on the, potentially they're doing a backfall or something, right? Um, you're going to use different adhesives. You're going to need to slick this back. If this is a lace front, you can't do this. This is not going to work. It's going to be too lumpy and bumpy. Um, if the wig, you know, you're really being mindful as to what that wig is when you're putting it on. If there's a fringe on that wig, you might be able to get away with this, but it's going to be lumpy and bumpy. There's ways of getting this down with adhesives, whether it's gel, um, whatever, but we're going to show you that in a different segment. So there we go. You just have to lock this down. People do this differently too. I, f I push in, roll it under, pull. Hairpin. Make sure they don't have tips, but that means these are deadly weapons and you have to be careful. I have sadly been on set where I've seen people get these under their scalp. Don't do that. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Done. Pull, pull, pull. Underneath. Tuck. Tighten. Pull. Simple. There you go. Just make sure it's all done and done. If the activity is a bit more tense and you need to put a little bit more love in there, you can always put in a hairpin into the clip. So push it through the sock underneath and through. Make sure you talk to your artist and make sure that these pins aren't bothering them because these are the ones that will cause trouble. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle if you have to. There's a number of different kinds of French pins. There are certain ones that are much better for this than others. Um, I don't like using these ridged pins, but for the example of what we're doing here, Done for dinner. That's a wig wrap. We'll send her off to makeup, come back. Easy peasy. I'm just using this wig as an example because this is what I got. Cheap craft wig. The tags the back. Again, get the artist to put their thumbs forward. They hold it this way. They usually have had a wig on before. If they haven't, you just have to help them a little bit more. So they've got this held here, a little lower than you think it should be. Get it through. Just kind of figure out where the part is. This wig, it doesn't matter too much. This wig is significantly bigger than the head. So I'm going to actually dart, make a dart like in fashion in the back and pin it to one of the pins in the back so it's balanced and the pressure is balanced and it's not going to be so problematic. See where I put those pins. There we go. Pin. Okay. 
So I usually will lock it down to all of those pins that I put in, and that's five. That's my basic number. Um, sometimes it's a bit more. Sometimes I'll put a couple up here or one back here and I lock it down again. So I know what my pin placement is for my toupee clips because I tend to do that the same every time, therefore I know where they are. And I can always use my fingers and figure it out. Super simple. Don't complicate. So you can see this is a crappy, it's not the greatest way, but for this purpose it's really actually excellent. This wig will not come off. There's a likelihood it will not come off in a fight. So you can see how I didn't need to worry so much about the head shape because the hair hides it. I didn't need to worry much about the front line because the hair hides it. I can style this wig so... Depending on what the needs are. It's ready, mother. Here we go, right? It can be as simple as something like that that hides the bang. This can be anything you want it to be. Da -da 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 -da. Fantasy, fairy tale. Clean this up, get rid of this. Done for dinner, right? It doesn't need to be this overwhelming process that people make it out to be doing this quickly so it gets stuff out of the way and gives you an idea of what how simple this actually is. I would probably never ever use a wig this terrible on somebody, <laughs> but even this terrible wig could look great. It just needs a bit of love. It needs to be steamed and brushed out and whatever. But you could easily put in some body, whatever, you know, put a crown on it, put a bird on it, Easy, right? One, 